Hey guys, so fun fact, I actually filmed today and I was getting ready to get in the shower and I was like, you know what, David told me that I was supposed to be getting a package today and how, number one, how sweet is that for him to send me something. I told him he never had to send me anything, but he's a very sweet person and he did anyway. And I told myself when I was getting in the shower, I was like, you know what, I bet as soon as I get out of the shower and dry my hair and don't have like makeup and all that crazy shit on that this package will get here and guess what <laughs> so we're gonna open it i have no idea what this is not a clue david emailed me you know told me he sent it and when to expect it and here we are so let's rip into it I actually brought scissors this time instead of just like a random kitchen knife aren't you all proud of me What? <laughs> uh, okay, well, the first thing isn't books, but it's freaking awesome. Wait, is this just throw pillows? <gasps> oh! <laughs> I see, okay, I know, I know it's from Beetlejuice, but uh, oh my goodness. Oh, I myself am strange and unusual. <laughs> I'm the ghost of the most. <laughs> They're so cute! Okay, okay, before I start cutting, hold on. Pillows, okay, I just wanna make sure that I was getting the right thing, that I wasn't cutting something I didn't need to be cutting. All right. Oh, these are so cute! Okay, look, here's the, I'm the ghost of the most. <laughs> and then, uh, this is my favorite. I myself am strange and unusual. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting these. <gasps> I was just thinking it was gonna be a book. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna have to put these in my background and I have no idea how I'm gonna arrange it. That'll be a fun project. And, okay, so this is what I, I was thinking it might be. Um, David's been telling me I need to read Junji E2 and I can't find it around here. And you guys know me and my like thrift books. So of course, because he's a sweet person, Ah, and these are two that I looked at because, and uh, mm, I don't know, I don't even think I've said this, so this is amazing that he picked this one. I love the Scream, so I've seen this one before and thought it was amazing. Maybe I commented that, or maybe David just read my mind, who knows. And then this one, I remember, I feel like this is like the first one that David talked about on his channel, maybe. I, I know it was one of the first ones that I knew about, so, oh my gosh, yes, yes! And then there's one more thing. Oh, what is this? It's Edgar Allan Poe, but is it bookmarks? Okay, I don't I don't want to cut this because I'm afraid I'll like mess something up. So let's try to open it without scissors because it's like a ziplock. It is! Oh my gosh! Freaking tons of them! Tons of these! Look! Look, there's tons of them. Okay, so these, oh my gosh. All right, so I'm, yeah, yeah. These will probably be like giveaways for some people, but of course I'm gonna keep one of each. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's no exquisite beauty without some strangeness in the proportion. I love that quote. Beauty of whatever kind is it, oh, I can't even read. <laughs> Beauty of whatever kind in its supreme development invariably excites the sensitive soul to tears. Oh, and then we have, let it be, <laughs> I'm laughing in the back. Okay, so it's, let it Poe, and then, that's so Raven. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> all right, it is a happiness to wonder, it is a happiness to dream. And then, all that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Oh, these are gorgeous. Um, Once Upon a Midnight Jury, they got all of them. And the Nevermore, they're just hitting all the high notes. Oh, and let's see, oh. It is the beating of his hideous heart. We love the love that was more than love. Ah, oh, these are so pretty. These are so pretty. Man, there is a ton of them here too. Ah, uh, that pleasure which is at once the most pure, the most elevating, and the most intense is derived, I maintain, from the contemplation of the beautiful. I was never really insane except on occasions where my heart was touched. And I love that quote too. Uh, oh my goodness. This is so cool! Oh, there's just so many of them here. I love this. I love this. Ah! 
so amazing. Oh my gosh, David, thank you. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I'm like freaking out. The, the pillows, man, the pillows sent me over the edge. I was literally like thinking it was gonna be this, which is amazing, and they're hardback too. Oh, they're hardback too, which is so like nice. Like, you, know, you guys know, I don't, I don't buy like new books usually. I wanna say the last new book I bought was probably The Mad Men's Library. So, what, like a year? All my books are used. Yeah. So this is so nice. They're so crisp and clean. <laughs> ah, I love this. Oh, so I have some rearranging to do on my background, <laughs> which is freaking awesome. This is such a good problem to have. Uh, David, thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so, so freaking generous. Thank you so much. So guys, um, I have no idea what you will see next. You guys know how I do my vlogs. So I will see you when I see you. Bye for now. Guys, it's like seven o'clock in the morning. I'm in between classes, so I have to make this quick. I know I haven't said anything on the channel, but now now that I got the email, it's, it's okay. I got into the new horror tube anthology. <laughs> the lurking in the dark. I got in. <laughs> okay, okay, I can't cry. I can't cry. I'm at work. I just had to share it with you guys. <laughs>
nice. Guess what? I just got home, hence why I'm red, because it's 92 degrees today. 92 degrees. But when I got home from, let's see, where have I been today? The grocery store, the UPS store, the post office, a number of places. Uh, I had a package. <laughs> And it is a big one too. Look at this. Oh my god. It is so heavy. Wait, what is that? Oh, okay uh, So this is from Bunny and Mr. K, which I will link down below. I have mentioned him I know of probably at least a half dozen times by now and it's book mail So we're gonna open it and I know that this vlog is a whole lot of like book mail and various other odds and ends so if you've hung out this long because I have no idea where this is going to go in the vlog. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let's see what all is going to be in here. Tattoos. I know of at least two unboxings. Who the hell knows what else. So thank you for hanging out. Now I actually do have scissors so he packaged this really well which is probably a good thing because it's heavy as shit. While I'm struggling to open this uh, let's talk about how cool it is that I'm gonna have a story in that anthology <laughs> oh my gosh so freaking cool I know I put and that's one of the little clips you're gonna see if it, you haven't already is that little clip of me at work the morning that I got Regina's email and was absolutely dying <laughs> from excitement so yeah I just oh my gosh I've been on cloud nine for a week now <laughs> it's just so freaking cool and uh now at the time that i'm filming this it has not happened yet but will happen this weekend is the live stream that i'm going to be doing with uh book blather my god this is so good this, my god this packaging was like exceptional uh <laughs> so yeah that should be pretty fun you know hopefully everything goes smooth because I've never done that before, but Steve's a really nice guy. I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll walk me through it. My word. Okay. Let's see. This box is packed. It is packed. I mean, look at this. Look. It's like as big as me. Okay. So right on top, we have The Last Days of Jack Sparks by Jason Arnop. Ooh. Funny, creepy, and totally nuts. Hey, I'm down for that. Horrific and hilarious. I love that. Cool. Let's see. Yes, Daddy. A novel. Don't clip that. <laughs> I'm joking. Nobody gives a shit. Uh, a novel. Jonathan Parks Ramage. Ramage. Again, never heard of it. I love it. It's it's got like such a pretty cover. I wish you guys could feel it. It's got like a. It's almost smooth. I don't want to say suede. It's not suede, but it's almost smooth. Oh God. I'm so sorry. I'm looking at the tomato, but it's like a hundred degrees. Left to you. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Look, look, look in the smoke. I didn't notice that at first. Isn't that awesome? Okay. What would you do to save a loved one? Ooh. Oh, wait. Okay. I, I didn't even read everything. I just saw at the bottom. It says Robert soul down to the depths of hell. I'm on board. All right. Let's see. How about, Ooh, zombie. Yes. Joyce Carol Oates. Ah, yes, I've been wanting to read this. Cool, cool. I have heard of this one. Awesome. Very cool. Enthralling, harrowing. Oates scares aggressively with this novel. Love it. Love it. I have heard of that one. Oh, The Trial. Franz Kafka. I've heard of that author with someone else, and I can't think of what it is. Is it on the back here somewhere? Like, the also the author of... Because I know I've heard that before. I don't think it was this one. All right. Maybe it was this one. I know I've heard that author before. I don't feel like it was that title, but I'm pretty sure I've heard that author. The Lesser Dead. Christopher Bullman. Ooh. Ooh, I love this. Look at the cuts. I guess they're cuts. Are they cuts? Yeah, they're cuts. I thought maybe they were like blood splatter. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Let's see. Oh, okay. I just see vampires. Talked about in the back. Already down, already down. A roll of the dice. Ooh, a new kind of reading experience from Matt Shaw. Whoa, this looks awesome. When he rolls the dice, you roll the dice. I'm intrigued. Look at that cover. Ugh, oh, hmm. all about some, some blood splatter. That's really awesome. 
And it's not very thick either. Oh, and it's got huge font. Yeah, huge font. I love that. My, my old ass eyes. Love that. <laughs> now this looks awesome. A new kind of reading experience. Oh, I'm intrigued. Oh, my lord. Money, Mr. Gay. You, you're too nice. You're too nice. <laughs> So sorry, but it's like, so? <gasps> oh, Helping Hearts, Aaron Beau Beauregard and Daniel Vop. Oh, I see a jack-o'-lantern. <gasps> oh, yeah, okay, again, already on board. Already on board, whoa. We all rot the same. Ooh. Ooh, and there's like stuff in it. <laughs> stuff, illustrations. <laughs> oh, is there any more? Oh, I see some more, hang on. Ooh, that one's cool. Look at that one. Yeah. <gasps> ah. What in the actual sh- Okay. I don't know what that is about with the child, but uh, yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, look, look. Ah. Okay, yeah. All right. We're gonna be here all day. My word. Okay. And also, these are in like some damn fine condition too. Beyond Reform. Here's another Aaron Beauregard. So just like the last one. Let's see. Uh, extermination is the only salvation. Okay. Oh, and this one has stuff in it too. Is this like a mark of that author, maybe? To have a uh, illustration? Ooh. Ooh, look at that. That reminds me of um, the Scarecrow from the, the new Batman movies. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Ooh, okay. Ooh, look, look, look. I love it. Ah, cool. Oh, I guess I could show you the front. Yeah, I like it. Oh, and like I said, those are in like brand spank a new condition. <gasps> the slob! Okay, this is where I know that. Okay, that's where I know that name. All right, that's where I know the name, the slob. I have heard of this. Cool. I don't own very many and I don't own any. Do I own any extreme horror like physical copies? I'm pretty sure all my extreme horror are on my Kindle. So this is awesome. This is very good. I've heard this is like, am I right? Am I saying it right? Splatterpunk? Maybe? I know it's gross. <laughs> it's okay. I'm down for it. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! Oh, this is on my uh, Amazon book list thing. Yes! An extreme horror novel. Yes! I've been wanting to read this. Oh. And again, pristine condition. Ah. Oh. Cool. Yes. Yes. Ah, I gotta remember to update my, my shit on Amazon now. A minor storm. Oh, it looks like a constellation. Book two of the Black Gum series. Shane returns to town with a new look, new plans, and a dead chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Cool. That's awesome. I, I got you. I got you. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Do I need to read the first one? Because that's cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's see. I'll have to look it up. That's really cool. This is another one of those, like, real smooth covers. <laughs> I'm just entering in a dead chicken. All right. <laughs> oh, is this? Oh, okay. All right. This must be the first one. Is it black gum? I'm pretty sure it's gum. That's neat. Oh, take that in. It's like an x-ray. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Some of these chapter titles. <laughs> There's one that says something about a juggalo. That's pretty funny. All right. <laughs> All right. Those are cool. And they're real thin, so it'd be easy to get through. Caution. May cause unexplained ocular bleeding. Nicholas Robinson. All right. Very cool. Okay. Gruesome, unfiltered imagination of Nicholas Robinson. Includes the godless horror hit, Horseplay. <gasps> Ooh, now I don't think it's going to be up. Maybe it will be when I do, when I put this video out. But I'm, I'm going to be doing or have done, depending on when this goes up, uh, a bunch of a bunch of books that I got from godless.com. I wonder if it's the same one. Maybe, maybe not, because this is godless horror. Maybe that's two different things. Okay. Oh, they're calling him the Neil Gaiman of extreme horror. That's high praise. That's high praise. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, now we have two. Now, I have read these. I've since sent them to a friend of mine. But, yeah, if you don't know about J.T. Leroy, absolutely amazing books. They're not for the faint of heart. I do have videos on both of these, um, but amazing. 
really good. I have to say, if I had to pick one, I think I like Sarah better. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I like Sarah. They're both good, but I think I like Sarah better. But yeah, that's cool. I literally just sent these to a friend, so <laughs> that's awesome. That's really cool. Let's see. Oh, and this is the uh, Herald's Inn. This is the other JT Leroy book. Now, I have not read this, and this one is velvety. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Oh, and look, there's a snail. Yeah, it's a snail. Look. Let's see. Harold's End. Okay, cool. Now, I love, love me some JT Leroy. Um, there is, a, I think it's on Amazon, at least it was, a, like, documentary, and it was really awesome. Highly recommend if you're looking for something to watch, if you're into documentaries. Very cool. I am definitely looking forward to this one. Definitely. Uh, Where All Light Tends to Go by David Joy. Okay, all right. I know David Joy. What did I read by him? I don't know. I think I might have sent it to someone. I had another David Joy book. Uh, the Line That Held Us. I remember it had Line in it because I can hear my twang when I say Line, and I'm pretty sure I said that in the video review that I did for it. But yes, I enjoy this. I remember in that book that I read from David Joy, I remember the book read like a country song. You'll have to watch that video. I think I go more into it there, but it did. It read like a country song. So yes, and I love that title, Where All Light Tends to Go. That's, that's just intrigues me right out of the gate. Yes, cool, awesome. Ah, it just keeps going. <laughs> I, oh my gosh. Welfare, a novel. Steve Anwell. I like the simplicity of the cover. The world feels like a beautiful place. Okay, all right. Crushingly poetic in its anti-purple prose. Ooh, okay. I'm, again, I'm intrigued. Very cool. Hmm, I love this. So many ones. I know, I take a drink every time I say intrigued. Don't do that, you'll die. <laughs> Ooh, this one's heavy. And I don't want to live this life. A mother's story of her daughter's murder. Ooh, is this like some true crime? Uh, Okay, yeah. So, well, I mean, it says the author has like a master's of social service, master of law, and social policy, so... Oh, punk rocker Sid Vicious held in slang of girlfriend. Oh, okay, okay. See, I don't know. I don't know about that. So that's awesome. That's cool. So is this like the true story of what happened? Awesome. All right. Cool. No, I'm down. That's amazing. Cool. I, I feel like I'm going to learn something from that book. All right. Okay, I think... I think this is it. My god. My god, this is amazing. All right. Destroy All Monsters. Jeff Jackson. The Last Rock Novel. And then Destroy I think I saw this on his um, Instagram. I'm pretty sure because you see, there's that one and then there's that one. So it's like two books together. I love that setup. That's really cool. That is really cool. All right, awesome. Very neat. Very neat. Destroy the Oh, it says it's, he's a playwriter. Okay. So is this like based on a play? A few encounters were like signals emanating from a more intense life. A life that has not really been found. Alright. Well, you know what? I love music in my books and this seems like it's going to have some definite influences because this is less wrong novel pick. Uh, so I just love how the, I, I just love how it's set up. That's awesome. Very cool. Ah, okay. I'm legit surrounded by books. This is amazing. Holy God. Okay. Look at this. Look. It's just one stack. There's another one. Look. Holy crap. Look at this. I haven't read, with the exception of these two, I have not read a single one of these, and I'm stoked. It's like Christmas. Thank you so much, Bunny. Thank you so much, Mr. K. Holy crap. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, I'm telling you guys, I say it every time because it's true every time. I, I, I don't even know. There's not words for it. I'm just, I'm really lucky. <laughs> I'm really lucky. And uh, if you're watching this, because I know there's a lot of people upset right now about the way the world's heading. Um, there's good people. There's good people in the world. Just remember that. Okay? Just remember that. There's good people in the world. It's not all shit. There are, there are good people in the world. 
and focus on that. Okay? <laughs> That's your PSA for today. Thanks for hanging out. Getting ready to stream it up with Book Blather. Oh, I'm excited and super nervous. <laughs>
And I love Johnny Cash. I'm always on the lookout for new poetry books to share with Panic Poetry. So not to mention this was a freaking amazing deal. I mean, $1.60, come on. So I guess now I get to go take these off. Uh, why do people have to ruin books with that? <laughs> I know that's the thing. Why do they have to do that? Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll take those off. And I am, Josh, I'm so sorry that that happened to this book, but thank you so much for sending it. I'm so excited to get into this. So there's some more book mail for you guys. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Guys, so I had ordered some stuff for my car. Um, I needed some seat covers, actually. Uh, not for really any reason except for the side of my seat is starting to rip. That's not why we're here. So I thought it was like package I had ordered. No. I'm sorry I didn't get to do an unboxing. I legit thought it was something I ordered, but apparently David sent me the Joe Amber Crombie uh, series, I guess. Last Argument of Kings, Before They Are Hanged, and The Blade Itself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is awesome. Look how pretty they are, too. I love that font. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys and say thank you, David. <laughs> and I'm sorry I didn't unbox it. I swear to God, I thought it was something I ordered. <laughs> Bye for now.